Hello students, welcome to EPG Partshala. I am Dr. Kapinder from University of Delhi, Kirodimal College. Today, we are going to talk on module Population Part 2 from paper Ecology. After studying this module, you shall be able to understand the secondary characteristic of population. You will learn the concept of dispersal and the process of colonization of a population. You will also know different means of dispersal in different organisms. It will help you in understanding the meaning of dispersion. It also help in evaluating the role of environmental resources in various pattern of dispersion. A population may be defined as a group of organisms to the same species occupying a particular space at particular time. The ultimate constituent of the population is individual. On the basis of this, we can divide it into two types. First is unitary organism. It is the organism who can distinguish as a single unit. For example, insect, fish, zebra, etc. Another type is modular organisms. The, it is the organisms which do not come as simple unit but appear to be an individual like grasses and perennial herbaceous plants. The population shows the group characteristics which cannot be applied to single individual. The basic characteristic of a population includes density which can be influenced natality, mortality, immigration and emigration. In addition to these attributes, there are secondary characteristics of a population which includes age distribution, pattern of distribution of individuals in space, which includes dispersion and dispersion. Characteristic of populations, first is dispersion. It is an ecological process affecting distribution and a genetic process in geographic differentiation. Shortage of food, shelter, and increased breeding may force the organisms to disperse. Dispersal act as an important agent in the process of colonization of new areas and establishing equilibrium diversity. Dispersion is also an important component of gene flow which leads to the formation of new species. In addition to natality and mortality, dispersal also helps population in shaping their growth forms. Small changes in the population due to continuous entering or living of individuals or their reproductive parts has little effect on the population. However, larger changes will affect the population. Dispersal is influenced by barriers and by the inherent power of movement of individuals. Types of dispersal in animals. In animal population, dispersal can be divided into following different forms. First is emigration. Emigration involves one way outward movement of organisms from a population. Emigration can occur due to shortage of resources, overcrowding 
और सम अनफेवरेबल सोशल और फिजिकल फैक्टर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन अ बर्ड पॉपुलेशन वेन सम बर्ड्स मूव अवे फ्रॉम द ओरिजिनल पॉपुलेशन टू एनदर प्लेस कॉल्ड एज एमिग्रेशन दैट यू कैन सी इन फिगर वन मैनी इंडिविजुअल्स इन ह्यूमन पॉपुलेशन लिव देयर प्लेस फॉर सर्च ऑफ बेटर जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड अदर रिसोर्सेस एंड डू नॉट रिटर्न टू देयर ओरिजिनल प्लेस second is immigration this immigration involves one way inward movement of organisms from a population into an area which is useful for the survival and reproduction of the organisms for example the bird which move away from original population and enter into new population is called as immigration people leave india for better job prospects and living conditions in usa it is an example where people are emigrating from india and immigrating to usa migration it is two way periodic or seasonal departure and return of organisms from and to the population migration are particularly seen in mammals birds fishes and some insects migratory movements of animals are categorized into three types first is the migratory birds usually they breed in colder part of their range in the northern hemisphere birds move north in the spring and towards south in autumn a migration also involves one return trip by the organisms some fishes like salmon and eel take long journey while other fishes take short journey the eel anguilla vulgaris moves from river to sea and this type of migration is known as anadromous migration and fishes are known as anadromous fishes and they move for reproduction after laying eggs the adult fish die the young hatched from the eggs start their journey from sea to river in some species of pacific salmon the young hatch and grow in coastal streams and rivers the young one move downstream into the open sea where they reaches to sexual maturity after attaining sexual maturity they return to their home streams to spawn and then die these fishes are called as catadromous fishes and this type of migration is known as catadromous migration third type of migration is an unusual type of migration characterized by the monarch butterfly the adult butterfly migrants never return to their home grounds of north in summer from the wintering grounds of south but their offsprings return to their home grounds some leaf hoppers some bugs and the milkweed bug undertake 
similar but less extensive migration nomadism nomadism is defined as the random movement of individuals in search of food and shelter without definitely returning to the place of origin some tribes in rajasthan district of india are nomads the effect of dispersal on a population depends upon its growth form and its rate of dispersal a population balanced with respect to limiting environmental factors is not affected by emigration and immigration as it is compensated by natality and mortality however if the population is below or above the carrying capacity level population is affected immigration accelerates the population growth or in case of extreme reduction prevents extinction mass dispersal can change the population in other ways bluegill fingerlings when introduced into a pond where its population has reached at its carrying capacity results in decreased growth and small average size of the fish in this case the biomass remains unchanged but the individual size is so reduced that fishes becomes poor refusing is another special type of aggregation of a large socially organized group of animals to a place from which they disperse and return regularly to satisfy their needs like food and material comforts human populations follow refuging type of aggregation it is a common phenomenon in developing and underdeveloped countries temporal dispersion it is related to daily change in the light and dark and that is also known as circadian cycle as observed in the activities of some nectar feeding insects and oceanic plankton etc for example certain activities of marine animals are regulated by periods of moon and intensity of tides whereas in terrestrial animals photoperiodism play an important role in regulating their activities dispersion it refers to mode of distribution of organisms within a population the individuals in a population are distributed in space and time accordingly the distribution is called as spatial dispersion and temporal dispersion spatial dispersion can be categorized into three categories the first is random distribution in this type of distribution the individuals are uniformly and randomly distributed in the area it emphasizes that every individual has equal chances to occur at a place random distribution is rare as it occurs in the environment which is uniform and where resources are 
equally available throughout the year or there is positive antagonism there is no tendency of aggregation spiders in the forest floor and the clam of the intertidal mud flats of the north eastern coast of north america show a random distribution second type is uniform distribution this type of distribution implies even spacing of individuals it occurs when competition between individuals of same species is severe the competition involves moisture requirement in desert bushes severe competition for light among forest plants competition for territory maintenance in carnivore birds autotoxicity among plants of arid region also results in uniform distribution of plants in these areas third type of distribution is clumped distribution it is also known as clustered or aggregated distribution it is the most common pattern of distribution in which individuals congregate in groups with some scattered individuals outside the group the environment is never uniform due to differences in the habitat climatic conditions social behavior and reproductive pattern as a result population frequently produces attraction and avoidance and results in clumped distribution pattern human population show clumped distribution due to their economic condition geographic factors and social behavior the large aggregation of fern occurs due to vegetative propagation some birds eject number of undigested seeds in their fecal matter for example english robin may eject 20 raspberry seeds in a pellet these seeds which germinates in a cluster of seedlings the degree of aggregation and density that result in optimum population growth and survival varies with the species and conditions therefore undercrowding or lack of aggregation and overcrowding may be limiting to the population and this is known as ellis principle the individual in group have higher survival value and is an important characteristic ellis observed that fishes who lived in groups could survive better to a particular dose of poison in water than isolated individuals the mucus and other secretions added in counteracting the poison indicating some group action type of mechanism a group of bees in a hive can generate and retain enough heat for the survival of all the individuals when the temperature is low enough to kill all the bees if each were isolated ali concluded that these type of primitive cooperation initiate the process of 
social organization which shows varying degree of development in the animal kingdom culminating in the group behavior of human beings aggregation of humans into cities and urban dwelling is beneficial up to a certain point since the optimum size of the cities has not yet been objectively determined the cities should reduce their population when the costs exceed their benefits ecologically it is a mistake to maintain a city that is too large for its support so students let us now summarize what we have learned in this module the ultimate constituent of a population is individual the individual either distinguish as a single unitary organism or a complex modular organisms the population exhibit secondary characteristics which includes dispersion and dispersal dispersion is the movement of individuals into or out of the population dispersal can be divided into emigration which involves one way outward movement of organisms due to shortage of resources overcrowding or some other reasons immigration involves one way inward movement of organisms from a population into an area and migration which is a two way periodic or seasonal departure and return of organisms to the original place nomadism is a special type of dispersion which involves random movement of individuals in search of food and shelter without definitely returning to the place of origin dispersion refers to mode of distribution of organisms it is categorized as random distribution where individuals are uniformly and unevenly distributed in the area uniform distribution implies even spacing of individuals and clumped distribution in which individuals congregate into groups refusing is a type of aggregation where socially organized group of animals disperse and return regularly to satisfy their needs like food and other comforts temporal dispersion is observed in some nectar feeding insects and related to daily change in light and dark lunar cycles seasons and tidal cycles thank you